Right, folks, well, the time has come to do some harvesting over here in the whole hydroponic area. It's a complete basil forest. So I'm going to chop down a lot of this basil. I think I definitely increased my yield from the grocery store, the 599 plant, and now I have about eight plants that are about the 599 size. So I'm going to harvest and make some pesto today. And I'm also going to trim down some of this arugula as well. I had one plant dry up on me because I neglected the roots. So it ran out of water and I missed it. So it dried up. Some of the romaine's looking pretty good. So here's the smallest romaine. And here's another one. Really dark leaves. It's going to be really nutritious. But this is the monster i got to trim down right here. going to get a lot more light since I cut down on the on the uh, basil there. It was really growing good. All right, well, let's head upstairs with all this basil and make some pesto out of it. Well, it's quite a load of uh, basil here. So what I'm going to do is take some time and pick off all the leaves and leave the stems behind. And I want the stems in my pesto. So I'm just going to pick through the leaves and the tops and get those ready. That's it for the basil. All right, well, the pesto recipe that I like to use is very simple, and I don't even follow a recipe in particular. I just do it by taste and by familiarity of proportions. But the main ingredients are garlic, cloves, pine nuts, Parmesan cheese, and I'm using avocado oil, but you can use olive oil. Most people use olive oil, but I've got a lot of avocado oil, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then the basil. So first things first, you're gonna wanna chop up your garlic. You want this to be really fine, so what I do is I turn the food processor on first, and then drop the cloves in. Before anything else goes in, that way it really gets chopped up really fine. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is the pine nuts. Right there. The oil. I forgot, you definitely need salt too. Well, it's looking really green, so I'm gonna open it up, really kind of stir it thoroughly to see where I need to adjust the flavor. It might need a little bit more salt, I'm thinking it might need a little bit more Parmesan cheese. It just depends on the flavor that you're used to. Or if you want it a little bit looser, you might add a little bit more oil so it's a little bit more spreadable. Right now it's very thick. Some people like it that way. So I like this recipe because you can adjust it for your tastes and your preferences. So look how green that is. Mmm, wow, that is about perfect. You know, it's such a treat to have fresh made pesto. Usually this is a summertime treat because you're growing basil in the summertime, but when you grow basil hydroponically, you could pretty much have this year round if you wanted to. It's really delicious. And um, I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna make with it tonight. I'm thinking homemade bruschetta. Yeah. I'm thinking it would go perfect on some crostini. Okay, let's see how it looks. Ooh, sizzling. Woo! And we have our taste tester here. Fresh back from the bike ride. That would be me. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so they're a little bit hot, but little crustinis for your appetizing pleasure. Yeah, that's nice. Mmm. It's a spot for sure. Need a little bit of extra salt, a little bit of extra carb after your bike ride. Yep. Very nutritious with all the basil, all those antioxidants, and healthy fats. Can't go wrong. And it's growing in our own house. Growing in our own <laughs> house. Yeah. Got our money's worth. Got our money's worth off that hydroponic basil I got at the yeah. store. I pretty much uh, tripled or quadrupled. More than quadrupled it. The volume of it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Those are good. So we got homemade basil pesto. Mm -hmm. Homemade basil pesto and little crostinis. But you can put it on chicken. You can put it on a lot of different things. Put it on your vegetables. But definitely yeah, recommend. I just dip it in it yesterday. Just, or just dip it for fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Mmm. Just get out of the jar. Yum, yum.